hi everyone in this video we you will see how to use rolls theorem and mean value theorem in the right way now some of the students will take one of the conditions and they neglect the others which is not true in part a we have the function tan of x in the interval from 0 to pi and you have to check there is no point C in the interval that satisfies the Rolle's the theorem and make the derivative equal to zero. Now, as you see in our interval from zero to pi, one of the conditions of the Rolle's theorem that you have to check that f of a equals f of b. So if you want to check that, you will evaluate f of zero and it will be tan of zero which is sine 0 over cosine 0 which is equal to 0 and f of pi again equals tan of pi which is equals also to 0 so the conclusion is f of 0 equals f of pi as mentioned in the question but this condition is not enough to say that there exists c that makes the derivative equal to zero because you have to check the continuity and the differentiability of the given function and the given interval so firstly before we start check the conditions of the Rolle's theorem you have to show that there is no point c in the interval from zero to pi that makes f prime of c equal to zero so we want to find f prime of x for the given function and the derivative of tan x is secant squared of x and this equals to 1 over cosine squared of x put it equal to 0 to check if there is c in the given interval makes f prime equal to 0 to do that make 0 0 over 1 and do cross multiplication you will get 1 times 1 which is 1 equals to 0 times cosine squared equal to 0 this is incorrect statement which means there no c such that f prime of c equal to 0 okay but the students will see that since f of a equals f of b the rules theorem will apply and there is c but th this is not true you have to check the continuity and the differentiability to guarantee there is c in the given intervals that makes the derivative equal to zero so now we will check this and i will start with the continuity of the function so the function is f of x equals tan x in the interval from 0 to pi now if you will check pi over 2 in the given function you will see that tan pi over 2 is undefined because sine pi over 2 divide by cosine pi over 2 and this is equal to 1 over 0 which means undefined and since there is no image for pi over 2 under the function f and pi over 2 in the given interval as you see pi over 2 belongs to the interval from 0 to pi this means f is discontinuous on the closed interval from 0 to pi because it's not defined and x equals pi over 2 so f is discontinuous which means the first condition fails so no need to continue and check f of a equals f of b so this example does not contradict the Rolle's theorem because one of the conditions and the Rolle's theorem are, is not satisfied which is the continuity so this not contradict the, the Rolle's theorem at all so the third condition that f of a equals f of b is not the only condition 
and the Rolle's theorem, we have uh, three conditions. You have to check the continuity, differentiability, then you have to check f of a equals f of b. But all the students start with the third condition, f of a equals f of b, which is not true. So you have to check the continuity, differentiability, then the image of the endpoints under the function f and the given interval, then this will guarantee there is c. But one condition is not enough to guarantee there is a c that makes the derivative equal to zero. And this is the end of part A. Now in part B, we will deal with the mean value theorem. And pay attention, we have two conditions for the mean value theorem. You have to check the continuity and differentiability of the function in the given interval. The function in our question is x to the two thirds when a equals to negative one and b equals to eight. So we talk about the interval from negative one to eight. And you have to show that there is no point C in A, B such that F prime of C equals F of B minus F of A divided by B minus A. And then you have to explain why the result does not contradict the mean value theorem. So I will start with the first part and we will show that there is no point C in the given interval. So firstly, I want to find F prime of X and f prime of x equals using the power rule of differentiation it will be 2 over 3x to the 2 thirds minus 1 and this will give us 2 over 3x to the negative 1 over 3 we can write it as 2 over 3x to the 1 third and cube root notation it will be 3 cube root of x and up we have 2 then this is f prime of x. Then I want to find f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So firstly, I want to find f of b, which is f of 8. And you have to plug in 8 in the original function. And you will get two, uh, sorry, 8 to the 2 thirds. And this will be equal to cube root of 64, which is 4. Then you have to find f of a, which is f of negative 1. And this will give, give us negative 1 to the, uh, to the 2 thirds, which is a cube root of negative 1 squared, which is 1. So this gives us 1. Then you have to check if there is c such that f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a now f prime of c is 2 over cube root of sorry 3 cube root of x equals f b minus of a it will be 4 minus 1 divided by b minus a which is 8 minus negative 1 so we have a 3 over 9 which is 1 over 3 so we have this equals to this but you have to replace x by c so if you do cross multiplication one times this one it will be three cube root of c equals three times 2 which is 6 then cube root of c equals divide by 3 both sides you will get 2 power 3 power 3 you will get c equals to 8 and 8 is not in the open interval from negative 1 to 8 so there is no c in the open interval from negative 1 to 8 that makes this statement is true why that you have to check why that because all the students go directly to this sentence which is not true all the students think that any function is satisfy the mean value theorem no it is not true you have to check the continuity and differentiability then it will be okay so this will not contradict the mean value theorem 
Why? Because here I want to check the continuity of the function of x equals x to the two thirds, which we can write it as cube root of x squared in the closed interval from negative one to eight. And as you see, it's okay because cube root is continuous everywhere. So yes, it is continuous on the closed interval from negative one to eight. But if you check the differentiability, which is the second condition of the mean value theorem, f prime of x, we find that before and it's equal to two over cube root of, sorry, three cube root of x. And this derivative is has a problem when x equal to zero because you have to divide by zero. So f prime of zero equals two over three cube root of zero, which is undefined. So f prime of zero does not exist. And the x equals zero belongs to the open interval from negative one to eight. So f is not differentiable on the closed interval of open interval from negative one to eight so really the result does not contradict mean value theorem because f is not differentiable at x equals zero which is inside the open interval from negative one to eight and that's it thank you